NEPAS is the Nebraska Performance Accountability System. To provide you some background information, NEPAS was approved by the State Board of Education in August by legislative statute. A summary of NEPAS is as follows that the State Board of Education established an accountability system to measure the performance of individual public schools and districts beginning with the 2012-2013 school year. It establishes levels of performance for indicators to classify performance of public schools and districts. When the state talks about classifying performance, they're talking about ranking of schools. In addition, it will annually report the performance of public schools and districts. There are five components that make up NEPAS. The very first one is status. Status is the average of scale scores in the four separate areas of content, reading, math, writing, and science. It can be thought of as a snapshot of the current achievement by grade building district and state. This is a ranked category. Improvement is another component of NEPAS. Improvement is the difference between the average NISA scale score for this current year and average scale score for the previous year in a grade. These are averages of different students each year. An example would be this year's fifth graders will be compared to last year's fifth graders. This is also a ranked category. Growth. Growth is calculated in reading and math by subtracting each student's scale score for the previous year from the current year's scale score. These are the same students each year. Only students who were tested in both years in the same district, and an example would be this year's fifth graders will be compared with last year's fourth graders. This is also a ranked category. Participation. Participation is the percentage of enrolled students who take the NISA assessment in grades tested. The target rate has been set as 95%. Participation will be indicated as met or not met. This is a non-ranked category. Graduation rate. Graduation rate is calculated by following the students enrolled in grade 9 and calculating the percentage who have graduated after four and six years as defined by the U.S. Department of Education. The state goal for graduation rate is 90%. What is ranking? Ranking is calculated such that the highest achieving school district receives the ranking of number one. A separate rank will be calculated for each indicator with no overall rank calculated for a school district. Additionally, tied scores within each indicator will be displayed with the same rank. An example would be if 50 school districts have a 99% graduation rate, each of the districts will receive a rank of number one and the district with the le next lower percent will be ranked at number 51. NEPAS charts. What NEPAS does is it takes information in grade level bands. For example, grades three through five fall into an elementary grade band. Grades six through eight fall through a middle grade level configuration. Secondary grade level configuration would be grades nine through 12. And then you have a district configuration which combines all of the information from elementary, middle school, and secondary and combines it into a district configuration of grades 3 through 12. This is an example of a chart using data. 
And this is not Blair's actual scores because that information is embargoed till November 20th where it will be released with the state of the schools report. But as an example, these are the different areas of what the data would look like. You have average NISA reading score. That goes under that category of status. You see the state results. Blair's rank, if this was our information, would be ranked 167 out of 249. This is done for reading, for math, and for science. Writing scale scores are not available for the 2012 school year. Improvement. Once again, this is different students. The average NISA reading, state results, the rank, and then the number of districts. Once again, this is different students, reading and math, and then growth is the same students. Where you see the growth of a student increased by 8.99 points. You see the state, once again the ranking, and then the number of districts. Participation is that area that we talked about as met or non-met. For this elementary grade configuration, the data indicates that the participation rate was met. For middle school, once again, grade level configuration is grades 6 through 8. We have status, which is that average scale score in reading, math, science, and writing. District results, the state results, where we would rank in the state, and the number of ranked districts. Improvement, once again, for middle school, this would be different students. You see different scores of improvement from 9.95 from the previous year. For state, once again, where we would rank within that category and the number of ranked districts. Growth is those same students. So these students had growth at 12.66 points. The state had growth at 3.32, where we would rank, and the number of ranked districts. Participation. For this information, did not have enough students participate, so it was classified as a not met in reading. For math, science, and NISA writing, all were indicated with met. The secondary grade level configuration for grades 9 through 12, this is an example. You have indicator type, which is status, improvement, which once again, this is different students, your graduation rate, and participation. These are our district results using this data, and once again, this is not Blair's data. These, this is data to show you what the charts would look like, where you have average NISA scores in each one of those different areas. Average NISA reading and average NISA math for improvement would be here. Our graduation rate would be 98.16. And then participation rate, like the other slides, that we had enough students who would qualify as met this criteria. 
the district grade level configuration, grades 3 through 12, combines all of that information under a district profile. As before, you have status, improvement, different students under improvement, your growth, which is the same students, your graduation rate, and your participation rate. And you see the information as it would pertain to Blair if this was our actual data. Parts of NEPAS allows you also to look at the school building accountability by grade. This is not a ranked category, but this would be a building, as an example, under the elementary grade level configuration. As you see, there is no areas that say ranked and then the number of school districts. This is an individual report by a building where you see building results and then state results. Once again, this is a non-ranked category. To conclude this information in regards to NEPAS, our information for our district will be located on the Nebraska State of the Schools report, which will be posted on our district webpage. You see below our website information. Thank you.